Are you a fighter? I'm talking about a real fighter, not someone who just talks trash and flaps their lips, but I'm talking about a real fist to cuff, blow to blow, get down and dirty, throw down type of fighter. The type of person who's ready to roll up their sleeves, pull back their hair and go to work. Are you a fighter? Well, I hope you are because as I'm striving to live, as they say, my best life, I've discovered that to do that, I'm going to have to start throwing some blows. And guess what? You are too. Extraordinary Living. Helping you transition from where you are to where God wants you to be. Have you ever watched someone shadow box? When someone shadow boxes, they are throwing punches in the air with no real target. Whether it's a jab, uppercut, or a left hook, their punches never connect with anything because they're only boxing as a form of exercise or maybe even practice. So no matter how hard they swing, their punches will never make an impact. Now, what's interesting is the fact that the Word of God tells us that the Apostle Paul, well, he wasn't about that shadow boxing life. In 1 Corinthians 9, 26, he says, Thus I fight, not as one who beats the air. So he's basically saying that when he throws a punch, he makes every jab, every uppercut, and every hook count. Why? Well, because Paul was a fighter. He was out there fighting that good fight because he realized that his life, his mission, and his time were too important not to make every single punch count. Paul was about that fight life, and you have to be about it too. In this thing called life, every battle that we fight must count. And everything we do should have a positive impact on our lives as well as the lives of others. We can't afford to be out here throwing air punches that never connect with a target. God has given us the power to dish out some devastating blows to the enemy and win our battles. How do I know this? Well, Luke 10, 19 tells us that God has given us the authority to overcome all, not some, but all of the power of the enemy. But when we fail to tap into that power, we are doing nothing more than fighting, as Paul puts it, as one who beats the air, a shadow boxer whose punches make no impact. You see, we are shadow boxing when we, won't, when we don't make Jesus number one priority in our lives. We are shadow boxing when we say we believe in God, but when things don't go our way, our faith wavers. We are shadow boxing when we do our own thing, knowing that our actions grieve the heart of God. We are shadow boxing when we know the good news of our Lord and Savior, but we never take the time to share it with someone else. And we are shadow boxing when we bear the name of Christ, but our lives don't reflect the life of Christ. And these are the exact reasons Paul said he was not about that shadow boxing life. Because Paul had experienced Jesus. He understood that winning the battle was the most important thing he could do. So he lived his life making sure that every punch counted. And if you want to win this battle called life, you must do the same. So pull out your Vaseline, put your mean face on, and let the enemy know that you are ready to fight. So let me know what you think about this fight life by leaving a comment below. And be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Until next time, continue to be extraordinary through Christ.